Now, first alert of weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, turning more into weather a little closer to our region, take a live look over South Burlington. Very nice sunrise or sunset out there. Uh, we had pretty nice weather today, though. I was taking some time outside enjoying what the sun you see kind of left yeah. over there. It was beautiful. Not too chilly. Not no, too enjoy, it was a perfect and, uh, fall day, but the only problem is sunset is 551. <sighs> yeah, so. I know. I know. It's oh, getting earlier. So Not looking forward to when it cuts even closer. Well, we have a lot of rain on the way in tomorrow, so I'm just filled More with a lot of people, good man. news Come on, here. Tyler. Oh, bad, bad news? <laughs> All right, let's start out here with a view. This is over Lake Placid. White face there had snow on it already this season, but most of it has melted. Not much left. Right now it's 41 in Lake Placid, so there's not many clouds yet. So at least initially tonight, the temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly. So chilly for the next couple hours and then the thicker clouds that are still off to the south and west will come in. So probably the numbers will go up a little bit when the clouds thicken up and then we'll have rain in here about sunrise tomorrow. It's a lot of rain too. a steady rain through Ohio, Michigan, back through Chicago. I think many of us will get perhaps a half inch of rain tomorrow. And that's not the only chance for a half inch of rain in the 10 days. So it's definitely active here over the next week uh, or uh, in a week and a half, the 10 day forecast that is. Most of the night dry, as I mentioned, it's really not till early tomorrow morning that the rain starts to come in. So if you have plans this evening, it'll be dry. Tomorrow with the rain, we also have a breeze. And then it turns drier on Monday and Tuesday, not necessarily advertising a whole lot brighter. I think there'll be some more sun, but it's kind of a, a struggle to really get a full sunny day here in the next week. And uh, then we have some more rain by the end of next week. So we still have 50 in Burlington, 41 in Saranac Lake. And this is how it looks on Futurecast with the overcast sky after midnight and then showers by 5, 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The heaviest of the rain should be tomorrow morning, late morning into about midday and there will certainly still be rain at this time tomorrow, but there may be some breaks in the action. So call it maybe more showers by tomorrow evening and then the rain gets out of here in time for Monday, but still kind of murky Monday morning clouds, maybe a sprinkle. Very hard to get the sun to increase on Monday. Best chance for sun north and west. So Champlain Valley in northern New York on Monday. And the other thing with the rain is it'll be pretty windy tomorrow. 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts possible out of the south, excuse me, south and east. So the rain perhaps at times will be blowing sideways for Sunday and a solid half inch. As I said, some spots may be closer to an inch of rain. So this is what I mean about the quick chill tonight. Some spots down near 32. That's before the clouds thicken up. The clouds come in the showers and then uh, temperatures moderate into the 40s to low 50s for your Sunday. So here's the five day forecast slowly increasing sunshine on Monday. Don't think it's very bright though. And then on Tuesday, some showers possible south. Maybe some more showers on Wednesday. Halloween at this point, unfortunately, looks a little shaky late as a next uh, rainmaker moves in late Thursday into the day Friday. But we'll keep an eye on it. Jackie.